Hello and welcome back to my channel. A couple of videos back I asked you which palette review you would like to see first. The first person got the first pick and it was the Bear It All palette. You've already seen that but today I'm going to test out the Total Eclipse. If I'm being completely honest I am definitely like even more excited about this palette than I was about the Bear It All palette. This looks so foily so interesting and I can't wait to try it out. So if you would like to see how I create this look right here and what I think about the palette then just carry on watching. I don't usually read descriptions of palettes before I test them out because it's eyeshadow but I was checking out the price it is 9.50 and it's here, so I might as well read it. W7's Total Eclipse is a cosmic multi-textured pressed pigment palette. The palette features a range of 18 pressed pigments of intergalactic shades of the cosmic universe. Shades of pinks, purples, oranges, browns and blues. We know you'll love this without a shadow of a doubt. Clever. Total Eclipse consists of nine soft matte shades, five duochrome shades and four shimmer shades. To give this palette a fair shot, I'm of course going to work on a base that I know works and I'm taking the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer to prime my eyelid and I'm going to pick up the Total Eclipse palette from W7. It does come with a mirror. Like the description said, it comes with two, four, six, 18 shades. Of course, I'm going to have to use zodiac because immediately you gravitate towards those blues and it comes with a dual ended brush i actually really really like this i have a couple of these now and i really enjoy using them i'm going to make something nice and soft no so i can make the zodiac shade be the star of the show let's take Galaxy. This is like a very peachy skin tone orangey shade. Has a little bit of kickback in the pan but I've picked up quite a lot on a fluffy brush and I'm going to put this just above the crease a little bit. Stamping it on first to get majority of the pigment onto the lid and then I'm going to use this brush to blend it in. I'm blending it in so this bone right here to the front of my brow. I'm going to dip in one more time to build this shade a little bit. It's nicely pigmented. It blends out nicely. No complaints whatsoever at the moment. This is such a pretty everyday shade. Let's get into these browns. I'm not going to go for Milky Way. I'm going to go for Constellation. It looks a bit more brown than Milky Way. Milky Way has like a, a slight pinkiness to it. Reasonable amount of fallout, a lot on the brush and I'm going to put Constellation in my crease just underneath the previous shade. Just blending that in. I love shades like this. These do blend quite nicely I have to say. I'm also going to put Constellation on the outer third of my lid. I'm going to wing that look out. I'm going to take my previous brush and blend in the edge of Constellation a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to have to use a hair clip. Oh, there we go. Now my hair is out the way. And I can focus. Now I'm going to take the double ended brush that was included and I'm going to take the fluffy side and let's darken this makeup look up and I'm going to take Latitude. It looks up a little purpley. I think this could work. So I'm working with Latitude just placing it on the outer third of my lid and kind of pulling it out. But the more I work with it, the more it looks like a very dark blue. It's like a very dark blue trying to be purple, almost eggplanty kind of blue. 
Okay, and once that is out, I'm going to take a clean brush and blend it into the shades that I already have. This so far is the only shade I'm having troubles with because it's a little patchy and it's not really blending in. There's a little bit of fallout. I'm just going to build it in order to try and get a nice blend. I'm actually going to take a little bit of latitude on that blending brush and blend the edges with that. It's kind of taken the effort that I don't want to give it because <laughs> it is such a inexpensive palette. Do I really want to spend ages trying to blend this in? That purpley eggplanty shade not my favorite i did the best i could do it could look better and now it's time to cut the crease as you'll know i'm going to pre-clean that area with a q-tip and a little bit of makeup remover to get a nice crisp line a little bit of the concealer i used to prime my eyes with and i'm going to take the other end of the jewel ended brush and use it to cut my crease with that Okay, not my best work, but anyway, let's finally take the zodiac sign. I'm taking it on a flat brush so I have control. There's not a lot of kickback and I've picked up quite a lot. There might be a fair amount of, yep, fall down because I am packing it on. That is a good shade. I was honestly worried that this shade will let me down. Turns out the shade that's letting me down is that Latitude shade. Okay, I'm shocked. This is a very nice shade. Builds really nicely, stuck on there nicely, nicely pigmented. Like it a lot. I don't know what it would be like if I made that the frame of the eye if it like fades a lot when you blend it out. But if it's a solid colour it looks nice. Let's try and blend it in. I'm taking a latitude and I'm gonna try and blend this turquoise in. It's actually not doing a bad job. Okay, I spoke too soon a little bit. It's gripping unevenly. I'm putting the shadow on and it's daring to be patchy, to not wanna blend. Disgusting. I have to clean my under eye because the amount of fall down that I have on my face right now it's not adding to the look, it really isn't. Once it's cleaned up a little bit, it's not that bad. I still think the blend could be a little bit better, but I don't mind it. I want to add a little bit of brightness to this. This could be a mistake. I'm going to swatch the three textured eyeshadows on the top. Ooh, they look cute. They look a little bit more toppery. Um, they have a very sheer base, but the shimmers add a lot of color. The first purpley lavender one is Luna. The one in the middle is Big Dipper and the third is astronomy and i have to admit i think i'm going to take astronomy and put it on the center of my lid i'm going to take orion the white and it is also a textured eyeshadow i don't think i can pick it up on a brush though i just want to lighten it up on my inner portion kind of did it it's just hard to pick up i like the combination of the two the textured eyeshadows seem to be very very similar to the one in the socialite palette by w7 you will get a better effect when you apply them with your finger it is hard to pick them up on a brush however it's doable i had to do the inner portion with a brush and I managed to do it and it added so much dimension. Now what I have to do though is to take 
that latitude shade on a very small brush and I'm going to define that crease. I didn't want to take latitude uh, that close in because it is so hard to blend but when you do have a brush like this a liner brush will do you can kind of fake that shadow and then you can use the brush itself to kind of blend that line in I'm also gonna give the outer corner another try to really blend and build because this has potential you know I believe in this look and it could look amazing I just reckon it needs a bit more love okay I think I'm done for now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be right back okay the other eye is done <sighs> that purple aubergine shade is a journey as always I'm going to briefly move on to my base finish off my base and then come back to the eyes for my foundation today I'm going to use one of my absolute drugstore faves the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation for my concealer I'm going to take XX revolution concealex I almost forgot to cream contour slash bronze can you even imagine that? I'm going to take Fast Base Foundation from Revolution and I have the shade F14 and I'm bronzing with it. Okay, time to set everything and I'm using RCMA No Colour Powder. I have officially become one of those people that I used to moan about when I said why would you powder your whole face and then use a setting spray to take that powderiness off. I powdered my face and now I'm going to take my Hydro Fix from XX Revolution to rehydrate my skin. I just love smelling it, I think. I do want a little bit more bronzer, and for that, I'm going to use MUA Bronzed Matte Bronzing Powder. I just feel like I could do with a little bit more warmth and just overall oomph. I'm not sure what blush I want today, but for my highlight, I'm going to take Revolution Sophie palette and I'm going to use my favourite shade, that champagne one in the corner there. I feel like I haven't worn this in a while and I do love it. This is going to look amazing on the brow bone. Let's hit the brow bone. Oh my goodness. It looks so good with these shades and since I have this palette here I'm going to take that lavender shade and highlight my inner corners with it I reckon it's gonna look cute because it's pretty much white and then it's like just a little something something okay I think I'm done with the base I want to finish off my eyes but before I do that I have to do my brows because they look not great. I'm going to use the Revolution Brow Soap to push them up. Before I do anything else, I'm going to let that soap dry and then finish off my brows. In that time, I might as well do the lower lash line. I'm taking a small brush, picking up Latitude, and I want to place it on the outer half of my lid. And now I'm going to take Zodiac, that turquoise again, and I'm going to put it on the inner half. I'm basically mimicking what I have on my top lid without the shimmer. Okay, I want to add even more blue and I'm taking a light blue pencil in my waterline. Let's put some mascara on and some falsies. The lashes I'm wearing today are Lashes by Lucy and the style is Effortless. They are super cute and I've been obsessed with them. I've been wearing them a lot lately. I almost forgot about my brows, but I didn't. I'm going to take my pomade and add a couple of individual hair strokes. And lastly, for the lips, I wish I had a black lipstick because I think it would fit the theme so, so well. 
it is on the way Jeffree Star weirdo but today I'm going to use face paint all right you guys so here it is this is my final look I created with the total eclipse from W7 cosmic multi textured pressed pigment palette I am low-key obsessed with this makeup but I'm gonna be honest when I do look closely at that aubergine purpley shade I have on the outer corner. I did make it work. I had to build it over and over and over and over again. I probably try and built it like five layers and it's still kind of patchy. It's still not like fully there. It looks fine as an overall look but it does bug me that it's not as intense it doesn't grab as nicely yeah it's it's going to be a difficult palette to create looks over and over again with especially if you want to incorporate that blue i love that blue all of the shades apart from latitude worked fantastic i love the textured eyeshadows that latitude shade just ruined it for me a little bit but overall for less than £10, I actually really like this. It's not as big as Bear It All palette. I was like, yes, go and buy this. This is more of a, meh. If you buy it, you won't be disappointed, but it's not as big of a, a wow effect as the Bear It All palette. That's my opinion on the matter. I hope you have enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the look. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave your comments down below letting me know what you like about this makeup. If you like this makeup at all, I would appreciate it very, very much. I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. You are the best.